Hey, it's Mark here from MakeTheMostOfMassage.com and I'm addicted to tools. And I love them because they can deliver the right pressure, the uh, precise and deep pressure that I need, but also they save my, my body. Um, the one thing that I hear massage th therapists say all the time is that they're afraid to use the tools, they're intimidated by the tools, um, and that they sometimes feel awkward. Um, but I wanna explain, at least my experience, that um, no matter what tool you have, you'll learn to adapt to it. Um, so I'm going to take, of all my tools here that I love, I'm going to take the biggest, most dangerous looking one, and that's the, this long T-bar. So the T-bar, like this length, is pretty specialized. Like I'm not going to want to use it in a lot of different areas uh, just because it's long. Um, and it can be awkward at some point. But that said, you can take this T-bar and you can make it a very fine-tuned, precise tool. For instance, let's say I was working on the neck here and I wanted to get more precise pressure in the line of my groove. Um, I didn't want to use, and I'm gonna, this is all I have to use. So with a T-bar like this, I can easily put it in there and with my thumb here, I can regulate my pressure. I can also um, regulate my pressure by not leaning into the T-bar. Uh, when I'm doing this, I feel like I have a lot of control over the T-bar. I can move along, find the spot with my thumb, and use the T-bar if need be. Move along, I find a tight spot, I can use the T-bar. Uh, so I can also use it on the spinal erectors in a way um, by just being very creative. I can use the end of the T-bar here. If I found a spot here on the levator scap, again, this is a little bit big for the job, but I'm just gonna lighten up. I'm gonna stand up and I can keep the pressure continuity with my thumb, I can gauge things that way. And this has become a pretty precise, easy to handle tool. Coming down here in the spine, I can look down the spine, find a spot. Again, if I was afraid I was gonna put too much pressure, I can go in sort of an oblique angle like this, use my thumb and my T-bar like that. If I came down here, the lumbar erectors and I found a spot do the same thing I can become a little oblique if I just feel like it's gonna be it's a little afraid of the pressure I can go like that I was gonna deliver too much pressure um, here I can use my fingers as a gauge I can put my finger next to my thumb to brace it and that way you can have more control of the T-bar. So with a, any tool, you're going to adapt the tool. Um, ideally, you want to choose the best tool for the job, but even with that, you're going to adapt the tool and it's going to be easy to use once you get your reps in. For more information on uh, using tools and pressure, working with deep pressure, check us out at www.makethemostofmassage.com. Thanks.